Hey, welcome back to another episode of Fixing Bugs and Stuff. We're going to go over the short block, the 1776 here, and we're just going to go right through it. Okay, what we have here, um, what I ended up doing, and I'll show you guys, I finally put on the uh, flywheel in the back. No problems, it moves pretty smooth. Um, if you can move it by hand here, then there should be no binding at all. If there was binding in the bearings, you wouldn't be able to move it like this. Okay. Um, still using that uh, red sticky uh, oil. Um, it does make it a little, little tight because it's sticky. We talked about that before. So we'll get into what's in this. So these are bored out. Again, 90 and a half. They're meant for 90 halves to go in here. Um, so, what I've done, I put in, the main bearings are in there, they're a different company, um, I forgot what the company's called, but it's steel bearings, the company's not around anymore, um, so anytime that you have the engine machine, you definitely should have, the machine shop provide the bearings too, that way they can match to the rear thrust bearing, because sometimes when you cut it, and the rear here, sometimes it's too little, um, or not enough and they can match the bearing. So I had that done and then I use Mal uh, rod bearings in here, which will work, which will work great. Actually, uh, they're pretty nice. I put some other bearings. I talked about that earlier in another video, how they were binding up on the crankshaft. So that has brand new bearings inside and out. So you can see here, these are brand new, um, connecting rods. As well, these are Unitex from CB Performance. They look pretty nice. I weighed them all. Uh, they all weigh the same, which is nice. They're also like in the center too. I don't know if you can see that, but usually Volkswagen um, rods are kind of like offset, and that's why they have the bump here. But these you can put on any which way you want. Um, let's see what else in here. Of course, it has the camshaft, which is a 110 from Angle. And angle's pretty nice. They give you like all this paperwork comes with it. Tells you lift and duration here, which is nice. Uh, so it does come with paperwork. So. And as we move on, um, oh, talking about the crankshaft. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but it is a 69 and a half crankshaft. Some of you guys don't know that, but uh, CB Performance has this. And so instead of having a 1776, it'll be a little bit uh, like a little stroker. So it'll be a little larger than a 1776. So when I do the engine calculations, when I do the uh, the piston clearance, um, then I'll explain all that later on. Uh, let's see here. What else? Uh, we put a 30 max. Um, I'll just spin this for you real quick. Get you an idea. Um, we put a 30 max. Oil pump on here. It's gonna be a full flow. Let's get a flashlight here. It'll be a full flow coming out of here. So, which is a nice um, CB performance provides these nice cool um, socket head cap screws. So nice. And then over here, it's a three eighths NPT that's gonna come out of here, and then come out of here three eighths NPT. Let's see what else on this guy. Any special? Oh yeah, the flywheel is a light and flywheel by CB Performance. Uh, something you also want to be aware. I have a. This is a a racing gland nut here, and the reason why I bring that up is because if you guys are using this, this is not going to fit it. Okay, I think this is a thirty. I think this guy is a 32 millimeter, if I'm not mistaken. But the nut, this racing nut, is a little bigger. It's a 36 millimeter. So you're going to have to do it the old way, the old torquing with the big old torque wrench, which luck luckily I have. That's how I used to do it back in the day. And so that's pretty nice. Um, the end play, I hate to talk about the end play. People have so many opinions about the end play. Um, some people go all the way down to three. Um, I 
done as loose as six. So I've done that before. This one is set at five. Uh, I We've had experiences in the past where we've done um, clearances or the end play to like two thousands and it's gotten too tight. And then as soon as you turn the engine on, it seizes up, um, especially if we don't have the, uh, the oil line, not oil line, but the oil groove in the back of the case. You know what I mean? On the new cases, they have it. Um, if I had a new case, I would show you. Let's see what else on this guy. I'm trying to think of anything if I covered everything. Um, this may be a short video. Uh, let's see. Um, this should be a new oil pan on the bottom. I say oil pan, but then it's not really an oil pan. It's like an oil plate, you know? Let's spin this guy up. Yeah, CP Performance oil plate here. Um, came with the nuts and this here. Make sure you put the copper washers in here for no leaks. Um, see what else. Oh yeah, I did talk about these in, in the video earlier. Um, these are nice too, these are hex head. Um, the high performance, uh, the oil relief. Um, it's just, there's no different than what the oil relieves. Uh, those little caps, a little different. Uh, these are nicer, a lot easier to torque down than the screwdriver or the slot. And it also has a copper washer, so that's nice. Let's see what else? Uh, not much to a short block. Um, it's the same old, same old. So, again, you guys, I know you guys freak out about it going so slow. And people use engine oil, but I, I, I've done that in the past. If I'm going to have this engine start like right away, if I'm going to build this engine and it's going to be ready to go in about a week or so, then fine. But a lot of times the oil, if it sits here and it doesn't get moved around or it doesn't get splashed in here and, and the engine sits, it, it actually, you'll lose a lot of oil. It just goes all the way to the bottom here. And then when you go to start it up, you don't have much oil in here. Unless you do like a like a, a non-start and make sure that the oil pressure light goes out. Some people don't do that. And they forget. So, anyway. I'm trying to think of anything else. Anyway, guys, that's what I got. It's looking good. Uh, these are 8 millimeter studs here. So... Usually we do the 10 millimeter, and this is rare that we have an eight millimeter one, which is nice, which means that you can go with a larger bore if you wanted to later on. Uh, that's why these are preferred for these cases. Other than that, brand new hardware, we're looking good. Looking real good. Pretty happy with it. So um, can't wait to get her started. Um, and we should be moving on. So hopefully, uh, I'm not sure if I'll have a video on the rest of the build. It's no different than what I've done before. This is going to have dual carbs on it. I believe they're 40 millimeter um, Webers that are going to be on here. And that'll be cool. It's got new tin that's coming, uh, new top side accessories. So it's going to be a nice engine. It's going to be really a nice engine. I'm looking forward to getting this one done um 1776 is one of my favorite it's kind of mild like a mild kind of engine but it's also very reliable other people say well if you're gonna go with 1776 why not go a little bit larger and go to a 2110 again anytime you go larger you're gonna start losing reliability so you gain horsepower but you lose reliability it all depends what you want and what you want to sacrifice as well so it's up to you it's up to you. I build all kinds. So, again, please like, subscribe, and comment, and let me know what you think. All right, guys. Have a good one.